thanks to that heat and humidity. No real big whoppers of systems moving through here. No promise of a washout, but just those nuisance afternoon thunderstorms day in and day out as we're all sweating again there, maxing out in the 80s. So kind of enjoy today while you got it. One way you can enjoy it is by coming out to the fair and you can check out the draft horses, which is what we're doing this morning. As I said, we're horsing around. I'm with Mary Wright out of Danville, Vermont. She owns these beautiful horses, and I gotta tell you, I'm impressed by the size. Hi, Mary, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, thank you for joining us. We're getting up nice and early and waking these ladies up. Who is this? This is Abby. She's a 19-year-old Belgian draft horse mare. Uh, we didn't raise her, but she is kind of the foundation of our breeding stock. We have um, all mares that we show, and we also raise foals out of them. Oh, that's so excellent. And what do you draft horses do today? And what did they do in the past? Because I'm guessing it's, it's different now that a lot of things are mechanical. Absolutely, a lot different. Uh, they used to work all day in the fields um, and in the woods in, in Vermont, in the sugar woods in the spring. Um, but nowadays, uh, with the tractors and all the technology, uh, some still do. There's a lot of Amish um, out that do use them for farming and that's where Abby originated from. Uh, but now we show them and uh, have them for fun. And we actually, we own a campground in Danville. So we use them for wagon rides every morning at the campground. Oh, that's so fun. They're so big. I mean, I've been around horses, but how many hands typically is a draft horse? And are people surprised when they come in here? They're very surprised. And actually, Abby's one of our smallest horses. No way. She is. <laughs> Uh, she's a lead horse, so she's kind of a very showy horse, um, but she is, uh, so she's small, and you are surprised by how big she is, and so it's the size, and they're very patient, uh, calm, kind animals. You can see by her eyes, she's very intelligent, and uh, she's patient right now. She's not the most patient of our horses, but she's doing well here. Excellent. People can come in here through the rest of the fair this weekend and Absolutely. come meet the horses and, and ask questions. Yeah, they, they want to meet the people. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, no, ask questions. Come in the tent. We're open. Uh, while the fair's open, we're also in the 5 o'clock parade every evening. Oh, there you go. That's fun. So a lot of ways to check them out. We've got Abby here. We've got a few more around. One keeps poking his head or her head over the top over there. Wants to say hi to you this morning. So come meet those draft horses and talk to Mary this afternoon or through the rest of the weekend at the fair. It's going to be a great time. We'll be live here all morning at the Champlain Valley Fair. Megan and Paul Xeni, back to you. Imagine riding one of those. Oh my God. That, she Huge. said that one was a small one. Oh that looked my large to me. Goodness. Ooh, thank, thank you so you. much. So much fun. <laughs> Well, now we get to your Friday morning headlines. We have a new information about the